Hey guys, I am sharing today a look at my updated refrigerator organization, kind of a what's in my fridge slash fridge organization tour, if you will. Um, it's just, it's been really stuffed lately. We've been buying a lot more produce, um, which is great, really good, right? But it's just been a little bit more difficult to kind of manage the refrigerator and because I was trying to work from the organization that we've used for years I tend to stick with things when they work and then when they stop working like they have recently with the refrigerator then I change things up so it's nothing groundbreaking here I'm not like doing something really Pinteresty, but I have started to incorporate a little bit more vertical organization using jars um, these twist jars by ball these ball mason jars are my favorite so far i love the twist ones because i feel like i can really get a good grip on them um and i like the two sizes they come in it's a 28 ounce and i think a 16 ounce and i got them at my local target if you're interested in them too um that's the one kind of like pinteresty thing i did with my fridge if, if you could even say that is i've been trying to incorporate some more vertical organization using jars which is a inspiration i got from looking online for fridge organization photos because uh, I thought well that's a really good idea there's a lot of things that I am trying to store in my fridge more now um, that I didn't know that you were really supposed to like nuts and seeds raw nuts and seeds especially um, so in order to not take up a ton of, of real estate in the fridge doing that using the jars is really helping um, and then just kind of revamping things a little bit i did kind of stick with our regular organization because it's tried and true for us and i'll just kind of show you the different areas in the before tour um and then the after look um where things have stayed the same but you guys seemed interested i, I asked on instagram if you wanted to see and you guys were like yes so here it is my updated fridge organization this is our refrigerator it's probably two or three years old now um it's an lg i don't know the exact model but it's great works fine it's a fridge what can you say uh and i just thought i'd give you a proper before look here one of the things i actually really like about this fridge is how bright it is it's really bright inside it's got good lighting um so it's one of these kind of standard top bottom models the bottom is the um freezer i'm not going to organize that today but i have some ideas for it and this is just literally what it looks like it's just kind of a mishmash of stuff you know there's a little bit of an attempt at organization but it's just you know we just have so much more produce lately that i felt the need to reorganize and um, i've started as you can see incorporating some jars for more vertical storage to open up a little space instead of using so many of these kinds of containers so i'm hoping to do a little bit more of that i need to go through the doors and make sure all the condiments are you know, not expired stuff. Cause like the stuff on this side, aside from the olives and the vegetable um, bouillon, like we never use. Um, so yeah, that's basically, I mean, basically how I've had it organized up to this point is, um, you know, big beverage things over there. It's mostly milk or, you know, um, almond milk or coconut milk, stuff like that. Leftovers usually take over these top two shelves and then I, I put kind of dairy and hummus stuff here. So eggs, cream cheese, stuff like that. And then um, big produce I can't fit anywhere goes on this shelf and then kind of smaller jars of things. And then produce, we've got veggie drawer and two fruit drawers. Um, and then this has traditionally been our cheese and Oh, there's some cheese there's some cheese and meat way back in there see stuff gets kind of lost um but like our dairy drawer basically but we don't have quite as much as we used to we have some some not real dairy um but i feel like i could utilize this space maybe for produce and move the dairy since it's smaller into a different area i'm not sure what i'm doing yet i just kind of pull everything out and kind of clean it down and start fresh from there um so yeah and retrieve whatever has slipped into the back there um hopefully it's not rotting but um this is the basic this is the basic stuff i got popcorn and rice up here you know that might be a good place to like put, i think the butter and eggs are supposed to go in that area but i'm not sure um so that's what i'm doing today and i wanted to take you with me so Let's pull everything out and start fresh. So 
So I'm just gonna open up and give you kind of a full view of the after here so you can see the whole thing just kind of from a distance. You can see it just is a lot more, um, I think it's just easier to pick out where the zones are because before everything was just kind of shoved in. And like I said, they're pretty much the same zones. Um, so I've got my, you know, my big like milk and, and like nut milk zone. And then I've got my leftover zone, which is these two shells and then my kind of dairy and spreadable shelves and then big produce, um, these three produce drawers are the, strip, are the same. I keep berries in here, and sometimes in the fall and winter it would be more like apples and oranges. I've got citrus and avocados in there. I've got um, veggies in there. And then I kind of split the bottom drawer now because we just don't have quite as many meats and cheeses as we once did. So it's half produce, half meats and cheeses. And then um, I've moved the butters, you know, both um, plant-based and regular and like cow-based butters up there. This has remained exactly the same, um, same as this, because those are just high traffic areas that really work well for us. And I'm gonna take you in closer to look. And then I just went through the condiments. As it turns out, most of the condiments in there were expired, and I knew they were because we hadn't used them in a long time. And I'm not talking, they're just like a couple months over the expiration. I'm talking like years, years. So I just cleaned through that. We weren't using that stuff anyway, and I reorganized it a bit. So let me take you in closer and we'll have a look together. Okay, so like I said, I kept this shelf the same. It's working out just fine. Um, this is my overnight oats, which eventually I might move down to this shelf because I usually have two almond milks, an open one and one in reserve because I go through those super quickly. Um, but it just worked out right now that that's how that is. Um, and then I've been keeping grapes in a bowl. I've been trying to use a little bit less um, plastic bags because we're just we're really into <laughs> using plastic bags and I'm just trying to be just a little bit more aware of um, my plastic usage. I know I'm definitely not zero waste or anywhere near it but I'm just trying to be a little bit more aware and I think any little bit helps you know. So I've kind of separate this into zones for now. We don't have a ton of leftovers right now um, but I have um, grains leftovers and then these are things that I use for food prep but it could be leftovers too. I have some um, baked uh, sp sweet potato slices for sweet potato toast. I've got some coconut milk from a jar, some uh, vegetable broth, um, ground flax and this is like a like a vegan parmesan I made. Um, and then this shelf has stayed completely the same. It's, it's our cream cheeses both dairy and non-dairy, um, I have some miso, I have our favorite hummus. This is a yogurt, I was gonna try a cashew yogurt. And then we just keep a half dozen box of eggs on hand now and we try to buy them um, farm fresh from the fair farmer's market um, when we go because we just, we're not consuming those quite as much. And then I kept this the same. I always have a huge box of spinach and a different couple different kinds of lettuce or like another big box of lettuce. So that's kind of that zone because that's really the only place it fits. And then I've been keeping my um, cut veggies, like my veggie leftovers, raw veggies that I can use in other recipes. This is like half a bell pepper and half an onion in there too. And this is where I've incorporated that vertical storage a bit more. So these are those jars I was talking about, which I love really really cool um, so you can see that I have them stacked six deep in here um, and I could you know put in a few more for sure and still have comfortable fit so I've just put the things we don't use as often so like our popcorn kernels and our whole flax which I just grind in small batches to keep on hand so it keeps it better longer and like I said I've been learning that um, about keeping raw nuts in the fridge for um, to keep them fresh longer. So I've got some raw walnuts, some raw cashews, and then I have my ginger and the turmeric, which I go through a lot recently. Um, and I'm just not even sure you're supposed to keep those in the fridge, but I do. So if anybody has a tip, let me know. And then um, I always usually have a half a lemon because I have a half a lemon in my water every morning. So I just keep that in a little jar. And again, just trying to use some, like a few less block packs. Then I took some, uh, my bunch of celery I've been having this um, it's kind of a smoothie it's kind of like a hybrid between a smoothie and a juice I've been calling it a smooth <laughs> every morning and it has celery in it and 
and uh, I hate storing the celery like I just don't know where to put it it doesn't fit now it could definitely fit in this bottom drawer but because I use it every morning and I go through several bunches a week I realized that I could cut it and it would still be okay because I eat it so much and now it's ready for snacking or for my smoothie juice smooth whatever so I put it in this jar just to see how that works instead of putting it in one of these to preserve um, these containers for leftovers because I have a limited supply of those although I suppose I could purchase more so we'll see how that works I might end up hating that jar storage for the celery and, and just put it in a traditional glass um, container like that but I'm not sure and then like I said I just um, decided to clean up the drawers a little I cleaned the whole refrigerator which it really needed um, so this has got onions and garlic and carrots and different kinds of carrots baby carrots regular carrots shredded carrots I eat a lot of carrots um, I have a lot of avocados I usually don't keep in the fridge if they're not quite ripe, but these are really ripe and I have a lot of them. So normally this would just be citrus and apples, um, but I have a lot of avocados right now, which we are going to be using in recipes this week. And then here's all of our berries. Like I said, seasonally in the fall and winter, the berries aren't so great, so I don't buy them. These are from the farmer's market, that's why they're in a bag. Um, but uh, I would fill this with apples. Um, and maybe other kinds of fruits, and this would just be citrus. Um, and then uh, the bottom drawer used to be all meat and cheese, and we just don't quite have as much in um, bulk of that anymore. We have a lot of tortillas, so I've got a huge stack of different kinds of tortillas. It's my favorite brand, the Maria and Ricardo's. Uh, we've got some salami and some, you know, some hot dogs and some bacon that Don cooked up. These are my non-dairy cheeses and then we have our dairy cheeses and um, I never could find a place for my mushrooms I felt like they never fit anywhere so they finally fit perfectly in here it's great and these really long cucumbers until they're cut up and they can fit in this drawer they don't fit in this drawer until they're cut they can live in there and I personally don't have an issue with my veggies and produce and other items sitting next to meat and cheese, it's, that, that's fine. It, you know, we have a blended family in terms of dietary choices here, so it's only natural that our fridge would, ref, would reflect that. And then, like I said, these two drawers stay the same. I just cleaned them up. Um, not drawers, they're um, shelves. But I did put our butters, both um, uh, non-dairy and dairy side by side up in this thing which I think is, is probably what this is designed for anyway we used, used to keep our butter out all the time um, but it's not getting used as frequently and I don't want it to um, go bad so I've just taken to popping it in the fridge I think that's a better place for it um, and then I've got my earth balance sticks behind that I use sometimes for cooking or baking and then the tub that I use mostly for my daughter's grilled cheese sandwiches and then this door really has the most transformation I would say in terms of um, I took a lot out of this this is not a drawer door um, I took a lot off of this door because like I said so much of it was expired um, so this is these are the kind of rumpus condiments we don't use very often some hot sauces beef broth concentrates Dijon mustard horseradish sun-dried tomatoes this, these things I use a lot, the olives and the um, better than bouillon vegetable base. I use that all the time in cooking. And I've taken to keeping a can of uh, coconut cream in the fridge to make coconut whipped cream, which I have yet to do, but I'm going to do it at some point. And then these are those um, smaller ball twist jars, and I use these items quite a bit. Here we have hemp seeds that I use in my smooth chia seeds, which I use to make overnight oats. Um, I think this is actually more ground flax. I didn't realize I had two things of ground flax, so I guess I do. So that one's just like a little rumpus one, I guess. So it will live on the side of the door. And then these are beans. I use beans in a salad. I make a salad probably five days a week for lunch. And I'll use half a can of beans in it. And then instead of just throwing the can in the fridge with some saran wrap over it, I just put it in a jar with the juice, the beans and the juice, to preserve it for the next time that I have a salad. Um, and this was fitting it all fits nicely on that side of the door anyway I don't want to keep the fridge open much longer but I really like the way this turned out I feel like it's visually very appealing and I can easily locate everything and so can my family members uh, I do know I also am going to add in a big jar of one of the big 28 ounce jars of uncooked brown rice to the fridge because basically the only rice I really use on a regular basis or have been um, up to date so that will probably be in addition to the you know that side of the fridge where I have my dried goods stored um, right now I'm just in between rice 
rice since I've cooked it all. Um, so I think that's that is about everything that I can share with you uh, in my fridge update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was interesting or helpful for you in some way. If you have any fridge storage tips that you'd like to share, please let me know in the comments below. I am going to be redoing my pantry. It is definitely in need of an overhaul, but I'm probably not going to have a chance to do that until the fall when we're home from all of our summer travels. So I will definitely share with you when I update that because it definitely needs I know I tidied it up this spring, but it needs a reorganization for sure. Um, and maybe I'll do a freezer update too at some point because the, the, the pull-out bottom freezer, I just really dislike for just organization. It's really handy to have in terms of just like accessibility, but I don't like it for storage. I find it very difficult to store things. So I'm going to work on that and maybe that will be a future update too if there's interest in seeing that. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are all well and staying cool this summer. And I will see you real soon. Bye, you guys. Take care.